Welcome back to News 360. It is now time for Mission. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. And our pupils of Ningo in the Senate East District of the Bono East region risk studying in the open when school resumes. The roofing sheets of the school block accommodating the teachers and the pupils ripped off last year and has since not been fixed. The mission team's attention was drawn to the walls of pupils at Ningo in the Sene East district of the Bono East region by a concerned resident. The assembly member for the area was ready to accompany the team to the community. Ningo is a fishing community inhabited by a migrant from Adan Ningo in the Greater Accra region and parts of the Volta region. Although infrastructure is a challenge in the district, Ningo is fortunate to have benefited from a three-unit classroom block with an office under the immediate past administration. The remaining classes were held under this makeshift structure. However, pupils and teachers were displaced late last year after a storm ripped off the roof of the classrooms. The incident was reported to have happened at a time when school was not in session. The facility has since not been re-roofed. Parents are worried peoples would grapple with a place to learn when schools resume from the COVID-19 break. Well, I will check the situation now. I will see our animal. Say, no, 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 Onu ani mbreso ena omasi school dan ama ye wo pipe wa ha nanso na sen na pipe no die ase efre no atwi aban bi o beba bia on boye parents say they are committed to support their world education but would need government intervention to develop the school infrastructure the community through the assembly member petitioned the district assembly to address their concerns uh, i didn't say no not from man be in a boy and I eat dinosaur. Go so good every day, name me around, but almost frame me by and my first in my year when in Nago form. And say me Choleta, I decode as this assembly. In the letter on Crampomini, eh, headmaster, Crampo catch him say, one do so the edicode at now, there's nothing to be done. But the district chief executive for Sydney East, Benya Abraham, indicated the assembly has no knowledge about the school being ripped off. Uh, we have not heard of it, but just as you told me now, the assembly will quickly go and respond to the news and make sure that everything is back. So when the school resumes, they will also enjoy. So the future of education in the district here is bright. He boasted the education sector under the MPP government has seen significant improvements. Looking at the situation previously, compared to this time right now, you could see that there are a lot of hot changes. But the constituency chairman of the NDC, Samson Lawe, objected, indicating school projects constructed by the previous administration have not been completed. Any time we, are doing the, we started the thing then, when a change of government comes, then the project stopped. And uh, NDC comes back to power before you see those projects uh, going on again. So we are planning to end the uh, MPP government as Nana Kufado is concerned that they should continue the project that uh, ND, NDC is not able to complete before change of government comes. So they should continue that project. So what you, are, you, you see the Accra, it's not Accra alone, everywhere. Both the district chief executive and the NDC chairman have promised to improve school infrastructure in the district when voted into power. Education is key in changing the world. Hence, prioritizing the improvement of infrastructure in deprived districts such as Sydney East would be a good cause. That's all for Mission this evening. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks for watching.